The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tech Geek webinar series, our endeavor to empower techies. We believe that sharing of knowledge is the key to enhance our skills and grow us as professionals. With this principle in mind, we have initiated a series of webinars conducted by industry experts to give you all a crisp insight of various domains. The topic of today's session is Indian Testing League, how to get acknowledged as India's most knowledgeable tester. Our guest speaker today is Nitesh Naveen. He is a CEO in Unicom and Chair World Conference Next Generation Testing. Nitesh Naveen is president of Next Generation Testing Community with over 5,000 members and founder of Unicom. Nitesh has deep insight into current trends in IT industry, is passionate about software testing, and believes that Indian testers are set to play a bigger role in global software testing landscape. And I am Calcutta alumni. Nitesh is also a motivational speaker and mentor to many budding thought leaders in software testing. So without further delay, I introduce you all to our guest speaker. Over to you, Nitesh. Thanks, Vishal, and good afternoon, everyone. I know I can't hear you, but hopefully uh, you are able to see my screen. Um, as Vishal uh, rightly pointed out, you know, I am the CEO of Unicom, and thanks for his uh, generous introduction. Uh, I represent a community in software testing, and uh, every year we organize World Conference in Excellent Testing, which has become a de facto software testing melting point for the, for the professionals in India. So let me introduce uh, you with something which we started about two years back and a platform which uh, is now being acknowledged by the industry where we identify India's most knowledgeable software testing professionals. And that platform is Indian Testing League. So, uh, so this is me. Uh, so if in case, because you are not able to see me, you can see my uh, photograph. Uh, rest, I think Vishal from TechGeek has already introduced me. So the agenda for today's webinar is uh, I will be sharing some facts on the software testing industry. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, all, all of you who are attending uh, in, in July this uh, next month, uh, this year. So let me uh, share with you some facts on the software testing industry. Uh, so the independent testing as a business is increasing globally and it is growing at 40 to 50 percent. And there is a 30 to 40, 35 to 40 percent growth in offshore testing services. So this sounds uh, you know, tremendously exciting for the software testing industry. And the biggest market for the software testing industry is US, which alone spends a total of $59 billion on software testing. And out of this, about one third is outsourced as a service to the Asian countries, where India grabs most of the chunk, almost 95% of the outsourced uh, testing market. However, you know, it has to overcome a major challenge, which is shortage of, of skilled resources. And as per the estimates, there is a shortage of 22,000. At times where the, where the company in IT industry itself is growing at uh, 10 to 30 percent, uh, it is a software testing division in those IT industry which is growing at a much faster rate. So almost one in every fifth software in, uh, professional in the industry is a software tester. So that's the cloud that you know that and that's the importance that industry gives to testing. The overall idea of software testing, of course, is to ensure that. Uh, the product or the services that are provided is as per the guidelines, as per the customer's expectation. So let me introduce you to the Indian uh, Testing League. So uh, we we conceived this uh, about two years back when we you know ran uh, Indian Testing League in 2013. Idea was to identify India's most knowledgeable tester. While uh, you know there is lot of expectation from testers. There's all we felt that there is a need to recognize them, provide them a global platform, and you know uh, do something which can uh, help them in you know getting more visibility in their organization as well as in the industry. So Indian Testing League was conceived. 
and we partnered with uh, you know KPMG and now we run it you know every year and it has become a de facto software testing Olympiad in uh, India and more than 2500 teams from 250 plus companies participate in Indian testing league. So each team has a member of two, so a team comprised of two members and most of the companies participate in Indian testing league. So this year the venue will be uh, at Lee Meridian uh, on the 23rd and 24th of July. So the purpose of this webinar is to introduce you to this concept so that you um, uh, you basically uh, win this league and bring a laurel to yourself and also to your company. So in 2013 and 14, uh, it was a grand success. We saw over 4,000 professionals from uh, you know 100 plus companies participating. We had had uh, you know various rounds. So it's a it's a round which uh, uh, you have to you know beat everyone. So we do a three round contest. First is a uh, online, second is semi-finals, and then the finals. So the winners have been you know from uh, companies like uh, TCS and Cognizant. You can see their pictures. So uh, last two years it had seen phenomenal success, and this year what we are, what we think is uh, you know going to be a phenomenal year for India Testing League because already we had 3,000 plus teams. That means 6,000 software testing professional already registered for the round one of our Indian Testing League, which is beginning day after tomorrow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the first round is happening on 25th of June, which is day after tomorrow, exactly at 5 o'clock. So let me share with you uh, some of the contest format. So the contest it goes in three rounds. The first round will happen, as I said, on 25th of June, which is free. So there is no uh, in registration fee. You have to just enroll uh, with your team. So you need to find a partner. And both of you need to register at our website. And once you uh, register, you will get a link to give this online test. The last day to register is tomorrow, so uh, make sure that you know uh, you take full advantage of this platform. What we will do is we will select the top 20 teams from Indian Testing League, which means that they are the top 20 software testing professionals in India, and we will invite them to play a semi-final round on 23rd of July, which is almost after a month, which will be a written test. This, of course, will be a paid event, and there is a nominal fee. And this needs to be paid only by those who qualify for the semi-finals. In the finals, we will select only the four teams, which will be on stage, audio, video round. And it will be more like a Bombita quiz contest. And thereby, we will identify the best team, the number one team, the team that will be India's most knowledgeable software testing professional. So we have identified you know the topics after consulting uh, various organizations both from the hiring perspective as well as um, the kind of projects that they are working so we will we will be covering topics like manual testing uh, which which of course is slowly fading away and uh, is going uh, into the, the industry is moving to automating the testing process so test automation also remains one of the important uh, topic that we will cover agile testing is uh, you know, uh, it's it's a bigger umbrella. A, a part of the product in an in an agile project. We'll, we'll be covering topics on mobile app testing, device testing, and the various tools, management processes, and the strategy that one one uh, uses in software testing. So we will be covering the you know uh, very comprehensively the entire software testing life cycle, both traditional as well as uh, the new models and emerging technology that is coming up, both technology as well as the process. And this, these are the list of topics. Uh, to prepare for the Indian Testing League, we advise uh, you to get a basic knowledge of all these topics. There are a lot of uh, you know information available in Wikipedia as well as on various videos. And uh, you, that, those are good enough for you to prepare yourself and get a basic understanding. At this uh, contest, we just test your fundamentals. We do not ask very difficult questions. We ask very easy questions. But the idea is to, uh, you know, test your fundamentals and uh, and then thereby select the winner. 
we are also uh, apart from honoring the uh, the champion the test champion through india testing league we are we also intend to honor the test leader of the year and the testing lifetime achievement award so we we, we are starting something called india testing awards where you have individual categories so if you want to nominate uh, you know a test leader or if you want to nominate anyone who who, who is your role model you can nominate them also and of course uh, we will add and, and the third category is testing champion of the year 2015 which we do through indian testing league there are various corporate categories also like testing team of the year 2015 mobile lab testing award of the year emerging technology in testing of the year testing project of the year in bfsi telecom retail and manufacturing sector and testing startup of the year 2015 as well as testing tool of the year so these are the various uh, corporate categories that are available so in case you you are working in any of the projects related to this or any of these categories feel free to nominate or inform your manager about this so the deadline for uh, the entries is uh, labor entries 25th of june which of course ends by 25th uh, day after tomorrow and the standard entries are 10th of july and we'll be having an award evening on friday 24th of july at lee meridian in bangalore that's where uh, the winner of India Testing League as well as the other categories of awards will be felicitated. So uh, while I'm, uh, you know, uh, before I go further in this, I request all of you to share your questions so that, you know, you know I can take the uh, questions one by one. Uh, you can share your question with the Tag League moderator and uh, he will, you know, pass it on to me. I'll be more than happy to uh, address any questions that you may be having. So moving further. Let me uh, also uh, explain to you about what's what will happen at the World Conference Next Gen Testing. Of course, the India Testing League contest as well as the India Testing Award is a part of this mega summit which we which we run every year in July. So this year, this is going to happen on 23rd and 24th July. So as a company, Unicom believes in providing a platform where the best minds in software testing come together, share the knowledge, share the experience get an understanding of what's emerging in software testing, how emerging technology is playing a role in software testing, how software testing can use some of those emerging technology like social mobility uh, and cloud in you know improving their software testing life cycle. So that's what you know uh, we covered and uh, the first three days will consist of tutorials which will be presented by the world of acclaimed testing experts. So, we are inviting Rex Black, who is uh, expert president uh, of ISTQB as well as ASTQB, and he is a well-known figure. He has written multiple books, uh, which is famously called the Black Book in Software Testing. Almost every software tester are aware of him, so he is more of a testing as well as testing process and metrics. So it's a uh, you know fantastic opportunity not to be missed, and these these tutorials will provide the highest standards of testing available. So very proud to have him, as well as there are other testing leaders who would be coming like Rahul Verma, and you know you have uh, testers from most of the major companies like ECS, Infosys, Cognizant, um, Capgemini, Accenture, IBM, and also you know startup companies in software testing who are coming up with fantastic tools and software delivery models. They all will be present at this event. So if you are involved in software testing or project management or anywhere related to software development, this is the event to attend. And these are the important links, uh, which is uh, nextdaytesting.org uh, slash India Testing League 2015. So I'll be sharing you the, uh, you know, the presentation which has this link, and you can, you are welcome to attend, uh, you know, or. acclaimed trainers. I usually keep the uh, uh, webinar short and uh, try to you know answer questions uh, which you may be having. So if you have any uh, questions or uh, doubts regarding any of these uh, you know uh, uh, topics that I have just covered uh, you know feel free to answer this. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm open for questions at this stage. 
um, if you have any uh, questions, do uh, let the tech geek moderate and know. Thanks for the insightful presentation. Let's quickly take up the questions now. Please read out the questions and their answers so that all our users may listen to the commentable insight. Right. Uh, thanks, Vishal. Uh, so we have a question from Ashwinder Singh. Uh, Ashwinder is asking how ERP testing is considered in the market. Ashwinder, there is a good demand for ERP testing. Uh, there is uh, there are a lot of ERP tools available. Of course, SAP we all know, and then you have Siebel and you know others. And uh, it's more of an enterprise testing uh, uh, field. And uh, for this, you have to have good knowledge of ERP both from the functional perspective as well as the testing perspective. So there are experts available in the market and they are they, they do get premium. So uh, if, if your question is in terms of career, yes, ERP testing has a very good career opportunity. If your question is in terms of, uh, you know, uh, what about the, the salary level? So ERP testers are among the high, highly paid, you know, software professional in the country. Uh, knowledge of ERP, you know, is uh, uh, is expensive. Acquiring the knowledge of ERP is expensive. So that's why the ERP testers are in premium. I hope I answered the question. Um, I'll move on to the next one, which is by Mr. Mahesh Jairaman. And he's asking, uh, what are the recent, the recent trends are in big data. So how testing will be utilized or testing scope in data scientist role? Right. So, uh, Mahesh, it, it has uh, two parts. One is about big data, and the third is about uh, the scope of uh, you know tester in a data scientist role. So you are right. Big data is in uh, is in trend, and uh, uh, many companies are exploring it. However, at the moment, most of the companies in India are are trying. Uh, you know, they are still in the POC level, proof of concept level. So the, it is yet to be implemented industry wide. So you will see, uh, you will see. You know, most of the large companies uh, are adopting big data projects, you know, as a pilot project, where you have, uh, you know, the scope of software testing is not much. Most most of the uh, role are in uh, so in developer, so where you have Hadoop developer and other things, and on that of a system administrator. The role of a software tester doesn't change because he will uh, again be, you know, uh, doing the same functional testing and non-functional testing. On, on big data projects, uh, but the, a tester can take the role of a data scientist because the, especially those who have sufficient experience. So one of the since the requirement for domain knowledge is needed, since the requirement for domain knowledge is needed in a data scientist role. Uh, and, and, and by default, software testers are expected to know the domain knowledge. Uh, testers can, uh, uh, you know, take a data scientist role. That's uh, absolutely possible. Even though at the moment there are not many uh, projects happening where data, uh, testers can uh, take this opportunity. So we have the next question from Mr. Vishwanath. He is asking, how is API testing in the market? So application interface testing is, uh, is, is good. I mean, there's a lot of e-commerce companies that have come out and their mobile apps as well as uh, you know the website uh, companies are using the crowdsource model uh, to uh, identify bugs and fix uh, the problems uh, so I would say the API testing is not very premium Vishwanath they are they, uh, unless that application is at the enterprise a large application and a lot of automation is going on in this uh, sphere uh, so uh, to specialize in the domain part of the application rather than just the testing part. So we have a question from Subhashini. Uh, she is asking uh, how big data testing is evolving in market now. So Subhashini, as I mentioned, the big data is, uh, you know, projects are still at, at the proof of concept level. We are not seeing much of uh, traction uh, as far as big data tester is known, is concerned. However, Having a knowledge of big data is good enough, even though you need not have a developer level knowledge, but 
uh, good uh, conceptual level knowledge on big data should be enough for it for you to uh, you know test big data projects. The market is still evolving at this at this stage. It is nascent, and uh, um, companies are yet to get large, big, uh, you know large big data projects. They are still experimenting, and and I'm sure once the value is identified, it will be used pan uh, pan pan uh, enterprise, and then you know there will be more uh, requirement for big data testers. So have a uh, question from Rajkumar. And he is uh, saying that yes, I did met that uh, that as you have mentioned, manual testing is fading away. Does it mean in near future there will be only automation testing and no manual inter interference? Uh, Rashma, I think yes, uh, no. I mean, I did not mean that it is uh, it will uh, it completely fade away. It is reducing in the software testing cycle, primarily because um, the manual testing takes more time and uh, the the industry is moving in moving towards shortening the software development life cycle. But however, having said that, the manual inter, inter, interference will never go away. Um, primarily because they, if you cannot get a hundred percent automation. So what companies are automating are um, you know uh, some of the things which are repeatable and where uh, uh, you know not much of intelligence is needed. Are um, uh, looking at they are primarily looking at automation as something which makes uh, their work smarter rather than that something that reduces their workload. So that's where testers are, uh, you know, taking automation. And uh, there's a lot of uh, manual interference is still required, but that will be more at a coordination uh, coordination level and ensuring that the overall product development is done in the most optimal time. So there's a lot of uh, you know inter manual uh, manual interference done, but Manual testing, if it is repeatable and doesn't require much of intelligence, it will surely, uh, you know, uh, will 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 not be there in, in 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 times to come. I have a question from Mr. Nishant Verma. Uh, he is asking, is there any winning amount involved in the testing league? So, Hello. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry for for sorry guys for the um, for the interference in the network. So yes, so the uh, so the question was, uh, are there any winning amount involved in the testing league by Nishant Verma? So uh, there are no winning amount uh, Nishant at the moment. However, there are prizes that uh, sponsors are giving. So you would be getting a lot of prizes, and, and most importantly, you will be getting a recognition which is unparalleled by any amount or any winning prize. However, there is a winning prize uh, uh, which you will be getting, and uh, that is of course a secret. Last time the winners got iPad Mini. Uh, before that, they got iPad from our sponsors. So, and that's what you will be getting. So we have another question from Inakshi. Uh, Minakshi Deshwal and uh, she's asking, hi Nitesh, myself Minakshi, I am a test lead, wanted to know my future in cloud based testing which is Salesforce testing. Do I having a good future? Absolutely Minakshi, you are in safe hands and uh, Salesforce testing of course is uh, going, you know, and, and uh, there is a talk that Salesforce 
force may get acquired by Oracle, Microsoft, or uh, you know IBM. So uh, if if, if uh, let, let's see how it goes. But apart from that, I don't see any problem uh, as far as the future is concerned. You are absolutely in the right domain. So uh, keep doing it. However, I would advise you to acquire knowledge in uh, domains similar to Salesforce. So keep an eye on it and acquire uh, you know agile testing skills which will do you well in the sales forecasting. So we have uh, the question from Anu who asks, who, who is asking why do you think manual testing is fading away? Uh, I, I, I believe that manual testing cannot be replaced by automation testing. Uh, I am a manual tester, how should I keep myself upgraded? So Anu, uh, it is manual testing will slowly reduce even though at the moment uh, only in few projects it is happening, but the company is, uh, all, most of the companies, in fact every company is looking at reducing the cost and uh, manual testing if repeatable is going to come under the, you know, the scanner where the testers would be asked to work with the developer to automate the repeatable uh, testing processes that you may be having. So uh, to keep yourself upgraded you need to start uh, you know, learning about what are the various automation uh, software testing tools that are available and try to learn one scripting language and get the mindset of a developer uh, even though that is not needed. But important thing is that you have, you should master one of, either you should be a master of the tool or you should be a master of the domain or you should be a master of the process. And now in all the three, we are seeing that in open source, open source tools are becoming uh, you know widely used so you should try to learn all the open source tools by downloading it and using it uh, you should try to learn at least one domain whether it is uh, you know credit card processing in banking or one of these and you should try to uh, learn more about agile testing especially test driven development models as well as acceptance rate TDD, BDT these are some of the you know concepts that you can acquire very easily all the best Anu so we have a question from Ananya, she's asking how important it is to know automation testing and uh, she has more than three years of experience in manual testing. Um, Ananya, it is, it is important that you start uh, understanding automation testing. So there are various, uh, uh, you know, information available on the, on the YouTube as well as on Wikipedia. So I would say you start with agile testing, uh, understand what are the various uh, methods used in agile testing like test driven development, uh, BDT and there are various uh, videos available by stalwarts and if you are interested in certifications there are various agile tests. ...series of automation testing training so I think uh, you will find it uh, useful. Do keep a look out. I would request all of you to you know, put aside some part of your salary in self-education. What is happening is that most of uh, most of the folks are expecting that their their company will train them in emerging technology or in automation. That is not going to happen. That is going to happen only if they get a project funding from their customer. But nowadays, customers are not funding for their for the training. They are expecting the vendor to. Uh, to come up with trained in, trained employees, so I would request all of you to spend some some part of your salary, maybe about you know uh, five percent annual salary in your in self education, because the world in so world is moving very fast in software testing. What used to be uh, you know important uh, a year back is now you know it's, it's 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 changing a lot and it's not considered as important this year, and same will happen next year. So you have to keep yourself updated. You have to understand what's happening in the software testing environment. Uh, what is the industry best practice in software testing? How emerging technology is playing a role in this? So uh, a good platform for, for this to know is of course a conferences where you come, you meet your peers, you get to know how other, what's the industry best practice and what's emerging. So I would request all of you to seriously think attending a conferences con because conferences provide you with the idea of where your career is moving and what's emerging. So you should align your career in the technology or in the process that is emerging. This is very important. And uh, 
the, if you have no idea, come to the conference. You will get a lot of counseling. You will meet a lot of people who will help you, who will guide you, and you will get a clear idea about your career. So uh, moving on, we have the next question from Jishu Sharma. And uh, he's asking, uh, can you please share more details on Unicom? I tried to find the website. So we visit Unicom.com. I'm taking you to the last slide where uh, you can reach out to us. Uh, and uh, one of our flagship product, of course, is Nexian Testing. So you can connect with us on uh, www.nexiantesting.org where you can see a lot of uh, information about software testing. Uh, our uh, mother mother website is unicomlearning.com, which uh, you you can you should be able to access if you type Unicom uh, in India. So you will get it. So we have the next question uh, from again you know. Yeah, so there's a question from Lingappa. How is the Vanorex uh, tool for automation in the market? So it's still uh, emerging Lingappa, and uh, it is, uh, I won't say it's one of the popular tools. The next question is Umesh. Uh, he's saying, he's asking, I want to learn mobile testing, what needs to do, and are there any courses available? So uh, Umesh, there are a lot of courses available on mobile testing. You have, uh, you have you can, you know, uh, we are doing one mobile testing workshop also in July. In case you are interested, you let us know. Um, there are other companies also search in Google about mobile testing uh, workshops. You will find it out, uh, uh, especially from the companies who are doing it. Uh, we have a question from Sivaram. Uh, he is asking, what is the opportunity, what is the most popular QTP or Selenium in terms of job opportunity? traditional businesses. Uh, so the question is what is the most popular QTP or Selenium in terms of job opportunities? Selenium is becoming very popular at Shivra. Uh, it's an open source tool and uh, the, you know it's being widely uh, adopted in especially in the for testing automation field. QTP is also it's an Oracle product and it's uh, being you know uh, widely uh, it's, it has been accepted but Selenium is gaining more popularity. So I would uh, between the two I would suggest Selenium. So uh, Umesh is asking, what's the growth growth prospect for mobile testing? So uh, what what I would say, uh, um, developed uh, on you know on mobile apps. So mobile apps is the is the way to go, and that's where you know mobile testing plays a very important role. I would request you to uh, learn the technology, but as well as learn the business. Because as a tester, you are expected to, you know, solve business problems, not just uh, so, uh, ensure that app is good. So, uh, you know, combination of mobile testing plus uh, the business where. Uh, is, is it manual as well as in in, uh, in automation? So, uh, Shuvinder, I would suggest. Uh, that you know, as far as the scope is concerned, in uh, Microsoft Dynamics, there are a lot of uh, you know requirement in automation, and, uh, uh, and there's more scope in automation compared to um, you know manual. So, I would would request you to focus you know and uh, acquire uh, technology related to automation and testing. Uh, Prashant is asking, can you tell more about the QA sign off? So Prashant, this is uh, you know uh, the now the QA's role is uh, has has evolved a lot. Uh, you, you still there are many projects where QA sign off is needed, where a QA um, uh, is is expected to uh, understand what was the service level agreement and 
what was the quality adherence that was requested by the participant and then sign it off. So a QA sign off means that the quality check has been done and uh, the product is being will be delivered as per the uh, requirement. So that is QA sign off. So we have the next question from Madhavi. Uh, she is asking that with nine years of manual testing experience, what will be the best to learn and go ahead? Performance testing or ETL testing? or any particular automation testing tool to be learned. So I am sure Madhavi in nine years you would have learned the domain if you have worked, you know, especially in one, but if you have hopped around and if you have not acquired knowledge in the domain, it, 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 you are now in for trouble because nine years just in uh, manual testing is, is not going to take you far. Yeah, so sorry guys, there's some uh, trouble with the Wi-Fi at my end. So there's a question from Mr. Rajkumar Mandal. He is asking is certification like IS, PQB, etc. really play important role for securing a job as a starter? So the answer is no, Rajkumar. I don't think certification nowadays is uh, is you know adds advantage because uh, almost every fresher does uh, take uh, certification. Moreover most of the companies in IT, they are looking for a very sound uh, knowledge in technology. Or fundament your fundamental basically should be clear. So ha just having a ISTB certification will not help you in getting a job. Maybe it will you, you will get a job in a, uh, you know, smaller companies, but uh, most of the enterprise companies or startup companies, they are looking for somebody who has sound knowledge in the business. So learning the business, and of course, because you are a fresher, you will not uh, have the business knowledge. So I would suggest you to, you know, focus on the fundamentals and on the subject that you have learned. I think that that itself is good enough to get a good job. So the next question is, uh, how can a team apply for ITL? So Prashant, the, there's a screen. Uh, I have put the uh, information in front of you. So you can log into this website www.nextgentesting.org and you will find the links for the Indian testing link. Anyway, after the webinar, we'll be sending you, uh, uh, you know, uh, information where you can register for the ITM. So uh, Tushar Dongare from uh, Tushar Dongare, uh, his, his question is: What are the automated testing tools available to test software in short time? So Tushar, the, what is available in the market is QTP, Selenium, etc. However, companies are building their own uh, automation. So the team is learning the scripting language like um, Python or Ruby on the Rails, uh, Java, and they are uh, building. You know, they are actually trying to uh, build an automation test script for uh, their regression testing. And then, and you know, they are using a combination of publicly available software tool as well as building it in house. So they are building uh, in house capability a lot. So the next question is uh, by Mr. Murugan. Uh, can you please give all outline testing opportunities related to IoT and IOE testing aspects? So Internet of Things uh, is it's a part of device testing. So if you are a good uh, tester in devices. Then uh, you know you 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 can do well, and uh, there's not much change except that you know you have to learn how to do testing on uh, Raspberry Pis and uh, you know the Intel chip board. So it's, so this is more of a hardware level testing, uh, Morugan.
open source tool for test automation. So, but I would say Selenium, even though uh, you know every testing uh, uh, requirement for automation depends on the application, but Selenium is uh, quite uh, popular. So the next question is by Mr. Prashant. He's asking uh, which certification are is the best for penetration testing. So he's asking whether it is ISTQB or Six Sigma. So Prashant, I would say ISTQB touches upon penetration testing theoretically, but it doesn't give you any practical importance. Nowadays, how good ISTQB certifications are that itself is debatable. Most of the companies don't give value to ISTQB certification. It is just like one of those certifications that uh, you, uh, I mean, it, it just shows that you want to be a software tester. Uh, that, so it just indicates that it doesn't prove that you are a good software tester. So, but having said that, it gives you basic knowledge of software testing, and at least a start to when when somebody asks what is software testing, you can you have something to tell. Apart from that, it doesn't make you a better tester. As far as penetration testing is concerned, then you well, you have you have to you know, develop your skill set in this particular area. Uh, there are a lot you have to study on your own. There is no certification available on uh, penetration testing. Uh, however, there are uh, trainings on web security testing, which talks about penetration testing. So you can try one of those. And there are a lot of material available online. So I would suggest all of you to, you know, look at uh, uh, YouTube a lot. Uh, there are a lot of fantastic videos on how penetration testing or automation is done and even the scripting is done on YouTube. So you will get a lot of ideas uh, from, uh, from, from YouTube and from the online material. We have a question from Jishu Sharma. Jishu is asking that I, I feel that many testing giants like Rex Black and others who are marketing software testing as motives to first earn from people rather than to provide them with a platform that really enables testers to enhance their skills. Testing is often projected as a place where an individual with least knowledge and computers can start doing something. This is the point becomes, so how honestly Unicom is guiding us? So Jishu, uh, um, I would be very honest. Um, yes, uh, there are a lot of uh, thought leaders who charge a lot of money. Dex Black is not one of them, but you have to understand that only a deserving gets paid. So if, if, he's, if, he, uh, if, he, if his workshops are uh, sold out uh, much in, in advance, that means that shows that people value those uh, programs and uh, nowhere any of these thought leaders including Rex Black uh, suggest that uh, you know a tester is somebody who is who has least knowledge on computer that is absolutely nonsense and uh, it's not a fact uh, in fact they put a lot of emphasis of on software testing as a practice to improve the quality and uh, you know to ensure that uh, the right kind of product is uh, launched in the market so a tester's role is far wider, is more important than even a developer's role. And uh, software testing as a community is a very passionate community and they work very hard to ensure that, you know, the product reaches their time, their, their neck is on the line and, uh, uh, and they are quite, quite, quite highly paid also now. And nowadays the role of a tester has evolved to an extent that tester is actually leading a project because over time testers develop their product knowledge as well as domain knowledge which a developer doesn't know and uh, testers have a very good chance to become a delivery manager compared to a uh, you know a, 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 a pure play programmer so i would suggest uh, you know to uh, to come to our conference and not to just buy my word but to uh, hear from others hear from your peers also and then take a decision Ananya is asking as a tester which kind of organization will I have a better growth in large or small industry. So Ananya, what is important is that what kind of uh, product will you be working on? So um, large uh, in, uh, industry make you know helps you to become a specialist in one particular area, whereas in a smaller organization you will be doing end-to-end -end testing. So you will learn more in uh, small industry. Uh, you know, uh, and and uh, as far as large companies are concerned, they will provide you large projects, which otherwise uh, is not possible in the small small companies. So 
So we have the next question from Mriganga um, is asking, can we brief me on the testing techniques and the challenges for the platform? So Mriganga um, is actually uh, uh, the tool, the testing techniques and the challenges remains the same, whether you test a Google Cloud platform or you test any other product. The testing techniques, uh, you know, the, you, it, it depends on, uh, uh, you know, whether you, what is the how what what's the size of uh, the the project? Are you testing the entire Google Google Cloud platform, or you are using Google Back Cloud platform to? Yes. So. Uh, so the question was um, how how can what was the best testing technique in Google Cloud Platform? So there are various uh, techniques uh, depending on uh, the scenario. So I would so, so in terms of techniques, there are uh, you know risk-based testing. There are uh, you know uh, test-driven development. You have behavioral-driven uh, testing. So a lot of these concepts are actually being used to ensure that uh, you test. Uh, the most important feature first, and then you then and then you go down. So the entire software testing pyramid, which starts with uh, you know unit testing and then ends with the user acceptance testing. Now a lot of companies are trying the inverse pyramid model, where it starts with UAT and ends with UT. So uh, a lot of techniques are being evolved also. So uh, there's no uh, direct answer to this question, Madhvi. I hope um, you know. Uh, I'm being honest here because I don't know the context in which you are asking. So, with whatever limited knowledge I have, this is what uh, I can share with you. So, we have the next question from Nishant. He's asking, are there any automation tools available for data warehouse projects? If yes, please let us know the latest one. Uh, Nishant, I'm sorry, I, I will not be able to answer this because I don't have a clue about this. I think we have covered most of the questions uh, that was asked. Thanks, guys, for for you know uh, inundating me with uh, plethora of questions. Uh, part, hopefully, you will participate in Indian Testing League. It doesn't require any extra preparation, other than you know just browsing the net and knowing about each of the topics that that is being asked. So, looking forward to see you and uh, you know have a nice day. Over to you, Vishal. I am really thankful to our guest speaker Nitesh for conducting this webinar. It was indeed a great session. I would also like to thank all our participants for their support in making this webinar a success. The recording of the webinar will be available on techkey.com very soon. Thank you all.